Have you ever finished a project and you tried to set up an icon for your Godot project for a game? Well, it is an easy task, but if you don't know what you're doing, basically, it might be a nightmare. Hello friends, welcome to this new video, Andrew from Yellowhead Games here. Today we're going to see how to set up an icon for your game made with Godot. It seems like an easy task, and it is actually, but, but if you don't know what you're doing, basically the struggle is real here. Let's jump inside my computer and I'm going to show you what actually I mean with this struggle, because I tried this for kind of three days no, to, to make this work. Now, like you can see, I have different exports here, and, and no one of those has an icon, basically. I put three days in this to, to make it work actually because I had no idea how to make it work. The first thing that your brain may think is actually okay I'm just going to go in the project settings I'm just going to go here inside of the application config and under icon I'm just going to give this an icon. I'm just going to grab an PNG file that is maybe a big one 512 for 512 and that's going to be fine just give a K and you export it but nothing happens because that icon there is just going to change the icon that is going to be here on the application bar down in your windows and that's not what you actually want of course you want that but not actually what you really meant you thought that that was changing everything but that just changed that icon and I can show you because now if I run my game it has this little icon here right here like you can see and your icon changed here as well but that's not what you're looking for now what you do is just search on the internet you just go on your documentation on Godot's documentation and you find oh man you need an ICO file that's why and the first thing that you may think is okay I'm just going to compare that <laughs> right you just search for the first site this is a good one actually convertio <laughs> You just grab your PNG from here, uh, this one, for example, the 512, the big one, just drag and drop it, and you just convert it, okay? And you say, that's it, basically, I'm just going to grab this file, I'm going to put it inside the other tab here, you know, under the other property. You just go here, under the native icon, and you just choose that icon. You try again to export, basically, you just go to export, export the good icon is still there in your game and you keep a little bit being frustrated you you just don't understand what's happening and you say oh wait a minute here on the exporter tab there's another icon option an icon property i can i can change that as well yeah right i can change that and you just grab again the same icon no the same icon file and you export again but nothing changed I finally want to, to publish my game, but I can't publish it with, an, with the Godot icon because, you know, it looks unprofessional, it looks kind of... The one that made this game isn't able even to, to put an icon on his project, you know? That, that, that's the feeling that you're getting right there. I had some issues using this one. Now, I went around the internet and I found this little software, and this kind of allows you to, to watch what's inside your, your file, basically, your X. And change some properties I'm just going to show you what happened basically and I tried to open this and now you can see that there are some icons here if I go under group it basically had my icon but it has the normal icons of Godot as well and for some reason Windows was using the other icons and not mine there are other steps okay um, there are three ways or more to make this thing happen the point here is that you need different dimensions because uh, icon files kind of are packages of different images on at different dimensions and and Windows is going to choose one of those according to the you know resolution and according to the preview of the files basically how can you do that like I was saying there are different ways to make this work now the first thing that you may want is just actually go here on the documentation and check image magic this little software here now the fact is that it's kind of a strange software because it kind of operates with a command uh, window so that might be intimidating but for what we're going to do actually it's not that big of a deal and we just need to download this just go to windows now just select again windows and you're going to be here in this page and just grab the last one basically what is going to happen is that when you install this 
uh, software, this piece of software, is going to create some window paths that you can recognize and can use inside your command window, basically. Once you have installed this software, what you need to do is just to run a command window in this case it's the PowerShell inside the folder with your icons basically. Now here we're just going to copy and paste because I don't want to write any code. Now this is the line we need. Just copy, go here, paste it and like you can see we're calling magic and we're going to convert this file here. This is going to be our file name. Now what we need to do here is just copy and paste our icon name and what I'm going to do is just go here and delete this name like this and paste it. Now important thing is that your icon file, your PNG, shouldn't have a name with spaces. It needs to be all in one like this. And last but not least we need to give it an, a name and I'm going to call it icon with magic. Now what you need to do is just press enter and it made it. If we go in our folder, we'll find icon with magic. Now image magic definitely works, but you need to be sure to make sure that the icon file that is generated has all the images inside. How can you verify that basically? I just found out this other side here that it actually allows you to create icon packages and it's pretty awesome but you can see an icon package as well how it is made of and you can open the icon file here and just open that icon file that you just generated now like you can see this icon that we just generated it has all the images basically it has 16 for 16 32 for 32 48 and 64 128 and 256 now the fact is this, the quality here isn't that good, isn't that good, it's not that readable and if we go 16 for 16 it just sucks basically, it's just this blurry thing unreadable at all. Look at this, this is what we see at 1, 1x, I mean that's not my icon basically, no one can understand that that's my icon. Because of this I suggest you just to make an icon for each dimension, this way you can have that quality of the icon that you want actually. Now, like you can see my 16 for 16 icon here, it is readable, it's just a little slime. And if I go and open this and make it bigger, this is 32 for 32, it's still good. And then I just start using my normal icon basically. Now, how can you use this side? Just go here, select the file that you want to change and just go to insert an image here. Just find the one that you want, in this case it's 16 for 16 and it's going to open it for us. Now you need to apply this in order to, to put it there. And last but not least you just save it, download the icon and it's going to open this icon here. And this icon has everything you need basically, you just can use this, it's usable. Now the last way that you can make an icon is basically by using GIMP. Now I always hated GIMP, it was always a bad experience for me to use it. It was laggy, not responsive and it was just unusable on my machines. I don't know, I had other softwares that run quite well on my potato machines back then but I always installed and disinstalled this software. I hate it. Now how to make this icon? You just go here, you make a new file. It's going to be 500 file for 500 file. It's going to be a square, it's okay. Now make sure that you're using uh, transparent backgrounds and all the stuff that you need for an icon if you're using actually transparent backgrounds. Mine doesn't have an transparent background so that, that's fine to me but if you are using that just use open your image and just go here on layer just duplicate it with this little button here and you have a new layer. What is going to happen is basically that you're going to grab this you're going to grab this little tool here, the, the scale thing, and you're just going to type 256 and 256, and that's going to change this. You'll need to click outside the box and give enter, basically. Here are all my icons. The fact is that like I was saying before, this is not going to look that good on small dimensions, so 
I suggest you again do redo your icon for small dimensions change it a little bit change it enough to make it readable now what you're going to do is just go here export icons okay this one and I'm going to give this a name like you know icons gimp dot icon something like that now if I export this what is going to happen just click on export and it should be fine now if I go here I should find icons dot gimp I'm going just to check this thing if it's okay and I'm going to open right now from you know open an image if I reopen it it has all our dimensions here now the last thing that you need to do is just go and give this icon to your project so just go to project settings and use it on the native windows then just go again on the export tab and here under application icon just give it to this uh, just choose this icon and once you exported it you'll have your nice icons like like this one now if i run this it's working fine i have my icon here i have my icon here and i have my icon here okay guys hopefully this helped you and hopefully you are now able to make your icon <laughs> and put your icon on your game I'm Eric from Mihala Head Games. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification to not lose any of my videos. Leave a comment down in the comment section if you want to know anything. And more important, keep devin' games!